Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. A few weeks back, we all went to the Branson Tie Masquerade Ball, and Kaylee had a beautiful mask. And I said, Kaylee, how did you make that? Kaylee, how did you make your mask? You're about to find out. Between Mardi Gras fast approaching to local masquerade balls that just keep popping up, here's a DIY mask that you can complete in one afternoon and stand out the entire night. Here's what you'll need. A mask, one yard of goose feathers, hot glue and a hot glue gun, clear sealer spray paint, scissors, an old paint brush, glitter, one tube is enough for this project, Elmer's clear glue, a pencil, white felt, a disposable drop cloth, I used bubble wrap, but you can also use an old tablecloth or newspaper, seed beads, one bag is more than enough, one yard of ostrich feathers, appliques, grab as many as you want, the more bling, the better, metal hair clips for appliques that don't already have them attached. All right, you've got your supplies, now let's get started. First, press the felt flush against the back of your mask to get a good idea of how wide you want your mask to be. I have the felt positioned landscape style or horizontal. Eyeball it and place your thumb where the felt meets the end of the mask. When in doubt, go wider. From your thumb, draw a straight line up. I already had some pre-drawn lines from testing it out. Then you need a curve for that natural Vegas look. I eyeballed a basic arch, drawing an arch with the pencil. Take your scissors and cut along the pencil lines you just made. Sorry to be morbid, but you'll end up with a tombstone looking piece of felt. Set that aside for now, we'll come back to it soon. Now we've got work to do on the mask. Lay out your drop cloth of choice. It's about to get messy. Take your paintbrush. I would recommend one you don't necessarily love and slather the mask in clear Elmer's glue. Then grab that glitter and dump it all over the mask. This will create shine and dimension, almost a frosty ice queen look. Elsa, if you ever need a mask, I got you. Next, spray on a clear sealer for an extra level of glitter security. Here, I'm spraying six inches or less from the mask, but I would recommend spraying a foot or two from the mask. This glitter is not going anywhere. If you happen to have patches of unglittered spaces, spot treat it by putting a little bit of clear Elmer's glue on the uncovered areas, sprinkling more glitter over that glue, and then gently pat the glitter into the glue with your finger. Apply another coat of clear sealer over that if needed. Next, I'm giving it some edge, literally. I take about a centimeter perimeter around the mask with hot glue and then dump the seed beads on top of that hot glue. Go in sections as the glue dries quickly. I should have opened a bag of seed beads before placing the hot glue on the mask, obviously. Anyways, complete this process and your mask itself is done. Set it aside and we'll come back to it. Okay, now we're ready to fluff some feathers. Grab your pre-cut piece of felt and your yard of goose feathers. Start from the outside arch, hot gluing small sections of the strip of goose feathers and placing it on the edge of the piece of felt. Or you can do it the opposite way, hot gluing along the edge of the felt and placing the strip of goose feathers on top of that hot glue. Whichever way floats your boat. Continue this method across the top arch of felt next. You'll lay down some hot glue on the next quote unquote row and flip the feather strip over with the same process. Keep gluing and flipping until the whole strip of feathers is used up. You've got yourself a nice little feather fan. Now grab your other strip of feathers, the frail and fuzzy ostrich ones, and some scissors. Measure out a strip of the ostrich feathers where about an inch is left out on each end. Cut and place over hot glue. This adds a little more fluff and dimension to the mask. Okay, we're almost to the finish line. Collect your mask and the feathered top portion. Temporarily place them together to make sure they align. Flip them both over so the back sides are facing up. Put hot glue on the top edge of the mask in small sections as you fold the feather portion into place and press it into the glue. Continue this until the feather portion is completely glued across the top of the mask. You, of course, can leave it just like this, or you can move on to the next and last step to really glam it out. Taking your appliques, clip them onto various places of the mask. If your appliques don't have clips, easily hot glue a metal hair clip to the back of the applique. There you have it, a Vegas avant-garde style white feathered mask. 
Easy enough. Now, take it from me, don't cut off the elastic that goes behind your head like I mistakenly did. Clips will not properly hold this monster up. This one is totally customizable, and I'd love to see your versions of this over-the-top mask. Guys, back to you.